All right, what up? What's poppin'? I'm with my dude, EO Everett Overton in the building. What's going on, bro? What's up, brother, man? Good to be back on with you, bro. Yeah, man. Chilling, man. I'm yeah. chilling. How, how you been? How you been? Good, man. Busy. Yeah. Busy as always. Busy. Trying to stay busy, man. Trying That's to stay busy. Up. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, just out of here. Just trying to trying to keep this game going, man. So how, how the ladies treating you? <laughs> good as always, man. Yeah. <laughs> Looking all lean, bro. You look lean. You look good, yeah, man. man. You know, I'm, I'm trying to trying to get better with it, man. But yeah, man. Oh, but, today, good, good. but today, you know, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about, you know, uh, tricking. You know, a little bit of simping and, and why. You know, we're gonna talk about why guys, you know, pay for sex. Um, why guys like us who have game and, and we're we're trying to teach you guys how to have some game so you don't have to pay for sex. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get into that because that's been like sort of like a, a, a topic that's been floating around um, past few weeks. So I wanted to ask you, EO, yeah. what, why do you think guys pay for sex? Like, what's your opinion on that? Now, let me get this straight. When you say pay for sex, I mean, they straight up just paying. Yeah, they just like giving money to, to chicks. And they, or, or, actually, or I could say they're just tricking in a sense, meaning like they're paying her bills. They're, you know, giving her, you know, basically their relationship is I'm providing financial services because I want to have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's an interesting topic, and I'm glad we're having it. I had a conversation with a female the other day, mm-hmm. and we were t- it was nothing but real talk. I said, just give me facts. You don't have to lie to me because I'm going to know if you're lying anyway. Right. I said, what, what is wrong with just telling the truth in the game? Mm-hmm. And let me explain that. I said, if you're not interested in a dude like to be with him, you mm-hmm. know, he's, he doesn't do it for you, but you will spend time with him. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with making an arrangement, mm. telling him up front? So right. this is kind of in favor of tricking, mm. in a way. So, right, so right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't support it, mm. but if you have an arrangement with somebody, say, hey, look, I know that this chick is not really feeling me like that. Mm. I'm not going to marry her. She ain't going to marry me, but she does need financial support. Right. In a position to give it to her. Mm. In return, I do get some arm candy and, you know, someone that will spend some time with me. Right. And whether it's meaningful sex or a lay down, mm. she's just laying down, taking a dick and shit. Right. Or, or whatever it is, mm. as long as you agree to those terms, I think that's a pretty good transaction. Now, a lot of guys may disagree, but mm. do you want to lie to get what you want or do you just want to be up front and get what you want? Right. So I, I know a lot of guys here in the city of Chicago that have game, mm. but they go through spurts where they're like, you know, I got this arrangement with this girl. I'm going on a six month hiatus from really dating, but I'm going to get my, I have my go-to chick. I take care of her. She takes care of me. He's in a financial situation to do it where it's not hurting his pockets mm. and he doesn't feel ashamed to do it. Mm. So I think each man has to decide what works for him. Don't right. let EO tell you what works for you. Mm. You know, if that works for you and you have a sense of peace about it and you're not lying to yourself, mm. I think it's a good arrangement. Uh, but if you are lying to yourself, if you are lying to the chick, if, you know, you feel like you're you're deluding yourself and t- or, you know, you're delusional and you're telling yourself she really does like me, mm. when you know flat out she does not like you, Right. that is when we're getting into a different area. But I think if everything's on the table mm. up front, Mm. You know what she knows what she wants from you. You know what you want from her. Mm. Y'all come to an agreement, and that agreement works. I say it's cool. Right, right. Now I feel you. And you know it's interesting because you know I always said like there's a few situations where like I kind of understand tricking. You understand meaning like for example, and I I don't really I think it's kind of messed up. But like let's say you have a wife or girlfriend and you cheating on her. With like an escort, you understand, and so you just paying her because you want it to just be like a one and done thing. You don't want no issues. You don't want no, you know what I'm saying. So you just do that thing. You know what I mean? But I don't really condone people cheating. But I could, I could understand. And I could see it in that aspect. Also, another aspect I could see uh, where, where a person would trick is if you honestly are the type of guy who, let's say, you work in like two or three jobs or some shit, or you, you, you got zero time to do anything. You feel what I'm saying? I could get it. You feel what I mean? So in, in certain situations, I, I understand. You know what I mean? Um, but the thing is, I, I, I know a lot of guys who, and this is from from what I see in my opinion, is that a lot of guys will trick or, or feel like they need to give women money because they feel that's the only way to do it. Like, I, like oh, I can't get women unless I do this. Or I can't get the hot girls I want, you know, unless I do this. You know what I mean? So what, what's your thoughts on that type of, like, mentality or something like that? 
there's been, there's been times in my life during my game, my dating game experiences, mm. where I knew a chick was about experiences. Mm. Like she needed a lifestyle. Mm. She was at that point. She was like in her prime. Right. So maybe like 21 to 26, mm. just tight body, firm. She knows what she can get out here. Her sexual market value is high at this time. Mm. So I knew that what she wants primarily right now is freedom. Mm. Freedom to go on a boat on Lake Michigan. Free to go on a trip, whatever. Mm. So I don't. I never tried to tie women down with that kind of stuff. What I would say is, listen, when you want to get away from this stuff, because at some point you're going to get bored of this. Mm. Right? Kissing your ass all the time, going on these you know little getaways. When you just want the real deal, then hit me up for that. Because mm. I'm not going to take you out on, on, on these rendezvous. Like I'm not going to do that because my money should be put in different areas. That's not to say if I like a person, I'm not going to have dinner with them or something like that. But for me, I could always identify the season a woman was in mm. and then tread accordingly. So, like, I saw you on Afi uh, King's uh, mm. segment the other day. Mm. I, I couldn't jump on, but there was a lot of talented dudes on there talking about uh, something about is it easier being a side dude. Yeah, right. I talked about that. You did a great job. Mm. I, I was able to catch your clips. And um, he would, in a lot of ways for me – I'm not the side dude. She's the side chick. Mm. In my mind, she's mm. the side piece. Mm. I'm never the side piece. Mm. I meet her, distinguish where she is mentally, emotionally. Uh, is she beyond her prime? Is she in her prime? Does she have a lot of friends? Does she go out to bars a lot? You know, what does she need right now? Does she need to be seen a lot? Mm. Then I determine how my sales pitch to her to bring her into my system is. Mm. So I hope you're, you're. I hope I'm answering your question. Yeah. But every time I meet someone. Man, male, female, business opportunity, dating opportunity, just sex, uh, long-term relationship possibility. I'm always probing her, always asking qualifying questions to see where I'm going to place her in my life. Mm. So for me, I'll never trick for I'll never trick because mm. to me, you got to come in and do jobs. So, you know, for guys that feel like that, I just feel they're inexperienced. Mm. They need to get out there and get some more experience. If I could just share one quick story for you, yeah, what happened when I was in the sales game at 23 years old? I was working with a young lady that came in to make a large purchase. Mm. I spent a lot of time with her. For one, I was attracted to her, so I was thinking about how I can hit mm. and how I can sell her. <laughs> right, so right. okay, okay. So I spent a little more time with her than was necessary. Mm. I still closed the deal. But it took me about two and a half hours. Mm, all right. Wow, that's crazy. So I was called into the office shortly after that. Mm. They said, "Come in, shut the door." And I said, "Okay." They said there was another salesman, and a, a senior salesman in the room. Mm. They said his name was G. They said, "G, how long should it have taken EO to close that deal?" He said, "No longer than thirty minutes." Mm. They said, "Why were you with her for two hours?" Right. I said, well, I, I did close the deal. They said, but yeah, but you but it, it, you should have been in and out. Mm -hmm. You were in there too long. Right. So I could have taken her out to eat, taken her to fancy places, mm -hmm. paid her bills, all that stuff. Or I could have just qualified her right then and there, took her exactly what I wanted, to, what she wanted, mm -hmm. made sure the, the, the money was right, get the deal working, get her out the door. I could hand her a card on the way out and say, hey, maybe we get together sometime. But I was inexperienced. Mm -hmm. But the quick thing I want to tell guys out there, you can't get to expert level mm. game unless you do that. Mm. Unless you get out there and maybe spend too much money on a chicken and have her, you know, use you and abuse you a little bit. Mm. There's you gotta get dirty out here in order to get better. Mm. So, so don't listen to me, a guy that's a. I consider myself an expert at this point. Mm. You're an expert in my mm. my opinion. We're sharing little pieces with you, mm. but you got to go out there and figure out what works. Mm. I should have closed that deal in 30 minutes instead of two hours. Mm. I still closed it, but I could have done it far more efficiently than I did. And I had some people that were expert level at that time tell me you should have done it. You could have went about it totally different. Mm. So you got to get out there and get experiences. You cannot get to the point where you qualify women in a matter of 20 to 30 seconds you can read her body language. You can see which season she's in. Then you think about placement for her. You can't get to that unless you get experience. Mm. Now, no real possible. talk. Let me ask you this. Some people say that if you're tricking, if you're giving a girl, let's say you, you, you paying for sex or whatever, 
they'll say it's better because you know you're saving time you know what i'm saying so like they'll say well you're going to save more time just giving the girl money and this and this and that so what's what's your thoughts on that type of situation okay so you can get sex without paying for it i'm gonna mm -hmm. tell you something right now mm -hmm. you just got here, here's my my tricks to how i get sex mm -hmm. without spending any extra money now mm -hmm. i might buy a bottle of wine and a cheese tray mm -hmm. and you're gonna come over to crib right. but that would cost me 20 bucks right. i mean to me that's a small investment right for a night of sex mm -hmm. i mean for me i'm gonna blow some you know i'm gonna blow her back out for about four hours so for me twenty dollars mm -hmm. ain't nothing and it's all on my terms i don't mm -hmm. even have to leave my place mm -hmm. she comes to me right so you don't have to trick you got to get sexy. I'm going to tell you right now, you got to get your body right. You mm -hmm. got to get your fashion on point. That doesn't mean you got to go out and drop thousands of dollars on clothes. Mm -hmm. But like Miss Locario, he's got a nice black Henley on. If he paid $10 for that, that's a good job because mm -hmm. it fits nice. It makes him look good. Mm -hmm. His skin care is down. Mm -hmm. I'm sure his breath smells nice. Mm -hmm. he, he wears that, uh, he, he mentioned it the other day, uh, polo blue. Right. Polo, polo, <laughs> so I'm shit. watching. So you really do have to be sexy. Now, you're not going to be sexy to everybody, but you have to be sexy to you. You have to have swag. you got to walk with confidence, shoulders mm -hmm. back. And the main thing is you just got to let a woman know exactly what it is you want. Exactly. You you can't go in beating around the bush. I've told many women in my life, listen, I'm not boyfriend material, but I like you. I want to spend time with you. Have your men. Have your boyfriend. Have your tricks. Have your men on the side, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you're ready just to get away from all of that and have something real, some, you know, have some sex, Listen, listen to some music, mm. uh, have a glass of wine with me, and then we'll, we'll see each other in two to three weeks. I'm the guy for that. Mm. So that's my pitch. I let them know up front. I'm not an everyday guy. You're not going to hear from me good morning. You're not going to hear from me good night. We will connect every two to three weeks whenever we're in the mood for each other. Mm. I'm telling you, that's the best sex I'll ever have in my life is when you tell a woman straight up. You give her time to think about it. You give her time to place you in her mind, her emotions. Then she calls you. She's like, look, this dude doesn't want to bullshit me. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't want to feed me because I can feed myself. This dude doesn't have to do shit for me, but fuck me. That's mm -hmm. all he's got to do and make me feel sexy. Make, you know, I tell you, it's not just the sex. I seduce women with my words. I seduce women with the way I touch them. I give them neck massages. You know, I make them feel special. You know, I, I try to promote them with their careers and give them, you know, examples of maybe how they can catapult themselves. So you don't have to trick. You just have to have a very good presentation, number mm -hmm. one. And then you got to have a good pitch. Mm -hmm. Just like a sales pitch. You got to get right to the point. Mm -hmm. if she, you know, and if you don't want to spend money on her, she's not the right. There's someone out there that you don't have to spend money on pay her yes. bills. You just have to be able to not get too excited when you meet a girl and then start going to her world, mm -hmm. a lot of guys because they have a scarcity mindset, they don't they they may, maybe they go on maybe they're like a little dry right now, mm -hmm. so they're like, man, I haven't hit in a couple weeks, I haven't hit in a couple months, I haven't had really a chick talk to me like in three months. So then, if someone shows a little bit of attention, mm -hmm. they're automatically going to her agenda. Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to have your agenda and believe in your presentation, believe in what you want to do. And then give her a really good sales pitch and let her make her decision. Once she makes that decision, and if you have your place, you you know, you know how to romance her. Mm -hmm. You know, you got music on, you got the wine, like I said, you got the wine, you look good, you smell good. Man, women always tell me I love your traps. Mm -hmm. So work on your traps, work mm -hmm. on your shoulders. I mean, right. you know, find a woman that's feeling you mm -hmm. and then take care of business. You don't have to spend a lot of money, twenty dollars tops. Yeah, it's funny because I think when when guys say that it's quicker is that most of them have never gotten to a level of game where they're able to get sex quick. Like I've been in situations where I meet a girl, I've known her for 10, 15 minutes, and the next thing you know, I'm going to her house. You know what I'm saying? We're we making it happen. So it's not necessarily where you need that. And I think sometimes what guys think is they'll say, well, because I've heard this before too, they say, well, the if you trick, it's guaranteed. And and I always tell people, nothing is guaranteed but death. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. you could try to trick. Because I, I actually had a friend who was, um, there was I was I, I think they took this video down. But there was a video of a guy who was going on Craigslist trying uh -huh. to um trying to get like prostitutes or whatever. And he was this black dude. So all the prostitutes is like, oh, I don't I don't mess with black guys. You know what I'm saying? So like so it took him a long time just to yeah. get a, a, a prostitute. So if you're sure. saying that it's going it's going you know um you know, save time, you still have to go through the process of finding a woman 
to give money to to have sex with. So it's still the same. You're still putting it out energy. That's what that's what's funny to me about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But there is something to be said about something. If you are dealing with a chick mm. and you like her and she comes on tough times mm. and, she's, and she knows you're that dude, you're that dude with game, you're that dude with money, mm. you're that dude with respect, you're highly respected, nobody fucks with you, mm. and she just hits you up and says, you know, Lucario, mm. We've been seeing each other a long time. I read you're a good man. Mm. I'm in a tough spot. I was mm. wondering if you could help me. There's something to be said about being able to help people, man. Mm. You know, like, just like if I help my mother. She needs something, I help my mother. My boy calls me, I'll be able to help him, my brother, whoever. Mm. You know, it's one thing if you genuinely have a good relationship, good connection. And I'm mm. not talking about, like, a monogamous, committed relationship. Mm. But just a nice, open lines of communication, no lying, no deceit. And someone, and you know, someone falls on tough times, mm. and you have the ability to help her. Then help her, then man. Right. And don't, don't do it because you need sex. Do it because you like the bitch. Right, right. <laughs> you know right. What I mean, I mean, so I, I, I don't want to be so hard about this. I mean, right. we gotta be human before we be anything else. Mm. You know, and you gotta have structure and discipline so you don't bring people into your system that try to manipulate you. But that comes with time. Mm. I have been manipulated before, not many times, but mm. I've been manipulated before. But what I did was I went back, drew it up. What did I attract? Why did I pull her in? Was I desperate? Was I needy? You know, what was it about her? Was I looks driven? Or did mm -hmm. I think about how, you know, she could benefit my system and my program and how I could benefit her? So I was drawing up a game plan the whole time in my head in real time. Mm -hmm. While I'm talking to her, I'm thinking about seeing her run errands for me and shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, like for me, you know, the whole tricking thing, there can be a season in your life where you don't want to be bothered with the whole, the emotions mm. and all that stuff. So if you choose to trick mm. for the reasons that benefit you, mm. you're not really chicken, tricking. In my opinion, you're making a, a, a good decision. Mm. But again, it depends on the energy. If you're coming from a, a, a scarcity place, mm. like I need to spend money and give money to get this, then I do believe in the end you're going to feel low about yourself. Right. You're going to feel a little bit low and a little bit empty about yourself. Mm -hmm. But it all comes back to you making the decision. You have to make the decision yourself. You can't be at the mercy of her agenda. Then you make the decision. Mm -hmm. If that right. makes sense. Right, yeah. right. Now, it's funny because I, I, I remember I was talking to uh, my dude Miles and I was saying that, you know, when it comes to like the tricking stuff, I always felt like, a guy who a guy who understands the game and he knows the game, he's he's confident, he's comfortable talking to women or whatever. If he tricks, I feel like he's I feel like he's more equipped to trick because or or I feel like I would give him a pass because he already knows how to get women. So it's kind of like he's like, well, I know how to do this, but I'm just choosing to do this at this point versus a guy who doesn't know how to do it. And that's his only means of doing it because then he never learns how to do anything on his own. And, and I got that from I remember I was, I, when I was younger, um, I took a karate class. And I remember my sensei, he had us do like some a whole bunch of like exercises and all these other different things. And so he would only do half of it. So I said to my sensei, I'm like, how come you only get to do half? And he's like, well. I get to do half because I'm a black belt. I, I've been through all of this shit. You still yeah. learning. You feel what I'm saying? So that's kind of like how I, I, you know, how I look at it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, but yeah, it's like cheating on a test. Right, right. You like answers and shit. And then you go out there in the real world, you're like, damn, I, I, I don't even know this shit. Exactly, it's right. Like you get on the test, man. So, and there was another thing, too. I've had friends trick for me. Mm -hmm. They know this guy's good looking. They know this dude's got swag. So they be like, let's go out. And they're trying to fund the whole night financially mm -hmm. just to get me out outside with this them. Using you as bait. I'm <laughs> fucking chicks is. So I've had dudes trick for me. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if that's how you landed. See, but let me go back to that. Right. If a dude is tricking for me. And he's like, okay, EO's got game. You know, he he'll walk up at anybody and start a conversation. I need that kind of energy tonight. Mm -hmm. So I need to, you know, I need to somehow present an evening to EO that that is attractive to him. Mm -hmm. So he presents it. I agree. We go out. Mm -hmm. I find us some women. I introduce him. You know, I highlight him, which I do with all the people I'm with. Mm -hmm. He makes a connection. He slams her that night. What he does after that night's on him. That's right. where his thing comes right. in. But I don't mind that arrangement. <laughs> you know that's his, and if, and if he's cool with that, he shouldn't mind that arrangement. Mm. Like you gotta get in where you fit in, man. Not mm. everybody's as strong as us out here, bro. Right. So, <laughs> what, what's your thoughts, so. on people? Because I've I've heard also people say, um, you know, 
if you're if you're going on dates or you're paying for dates, it's the same thing as tricking. So what what's your what's your thoughts on that? Because they say because they'll say, well, you know, you know, if I'm just paying straight up for the sex, you know, it's it's, it's the same thing as you going on a date because you're going on a date because you want sex on a girl. So it's like you're paying for the sex. So what's your, what's your thoughts on that? I don't think first dates or second dates should be expensive, and I don't even think you should be eating mm. because the bitch can't eat feed herself. Mm. And really, I've had women tell me I don't need a dude to feed me. Right. So why are we trying to feed her? She mm. can feed herself, and if she can't feed herself, you shouldn't be dating her. Mm. Okay. So you, it should be very casual. And I've heard you say this before, and I tell my clients this too. I've been doing this for a long time. Skype dates. Mm. You know, your yeah, first you date. Exactly. Right here. Do. I mean, this is the date. She gets to see you. Right. She gets to hear you. She gets to see your muscles and shit. Mm-hmm. She gets to see you chew on gum. Like, you know, right. like you about to tear it. I've had women tell me I look sexy chewing gum. And now mm-hmm. they're thinking about sex. All mm-hmm. I'm doing is chewing gum. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm just like, probably she thinking about me spitting on her or some shit. <laughs> so, like, so what I'm saying is you got to find the ways to connect. So you don't have to go that route. Mm. But I think guys are so basic and so scared. Mm. They're scared to get on the phone with chicks and let them. Like I tell my clients, stop texting chicks. Mm. Get her on the phone. Talk to her. You know what I mean? Get get to know if you like her because what if you get her on the phone and you don't like the way she sounds? Her background's mm. all loud. You hear kids in the background and shit. Like mm. you may not want that experience. So in order to save your time, energy, and perhaps twenty twenty five dollars, mm. you know, qualify her. But the problem is, I think guys are too busy fearing women qualifying them. Mm. There's a big difference. Right. There's, a big, there's a big difference between you qualifying her mm. to make make sure she's worthy of your time mm. versus you being scared to talk or say anything or even present sex out of fear of what her reaction is going to be. Mm. There's a big difference there, man. Right. And, you know, I think what it is, too, is guys need to stop going on. If this is the mentality, don't go on a date then. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your mentality is I'm going on a date just because I want sex, then you're setting yourself up for disappointment anyway because you may go on a date and not get sex. So if Because I always tell guys, the date really... And and, and, and is is essentially you, if you're actually going to go on a date, it should be something that you wanted to do anyway. Like, because I like to go out to uh, to drink sometimes, so I take a chick to drink. So I'm going to do what I'm do do what I was going to do anyway and bring her along and evaluate her on the date because the date is just an evaluation. So I'm at a point in my game where I don't like I still need to evaluate you to even fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? So so I'm not even you know what I mean. So that's the thing. So. It's, it's at that point. So sometimes a date could be for that. So when a guy says, well, it's the same thing. It's not necessarily the same thing because there's times where I went on dates with women and I could have had sex with them and I didn't. I was like, mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm not, I'm not really feeling her like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, not even, just, not even to hit. I was like, yeah, I can hit it, but I'm not even going, like, I don't even want that energy. There. I'm like, I'm good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Cause I was on a date one time and this girl, she, I think I talked about this before. Well, yeah. she told me how she stalked. Uh, some dude that she was messing with or something and she was telling it to me like oh, it was funny but in my mind I'm like yo this chick is fucking crazy so I was yeah. like I'm good on that you know what I'm saying so yeah. I just kind of kept it moving so I'm like the date in itself is more so for that so I tell guys if you want to just get straight to sex you can either be, just basically tell a girl straight up like hey look this is what I'm trying to do or like you said do the Skype thing where it's like I don't got to spend money we could get to know each other on Skype FaceTime whatever yeah. Then after that, I'd be like, okay, you cool. Come through to the crib tomorrow. Come through to the crib tonight. And then you, you're, you're done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Because in, and you're so right. And you have standards, which is why you mm. feel like that. You have right. standards. We have standards. Mm. So we're not going to fuck with anybody that, you know, that, that's not uh, not up to par with us. Right. And the last thing I'll say, um, man, I had something important to say. It's like an interview. I'll talk to guys, and they're like, they're like scared to go on job interviews. They're scared mm. to ask for promotions, stuff like mm. that. And the thing is, is that, you are going to be invest. They're going to be investing in you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's not like just you going to work for them. They're going to be. What kind of value do they bring to you? And I think it's really important for guys to understand mm-hmm. that you have to pull people into your life that are going to be valuable to you and what you want right now. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want, I, look, I don't take women on dates mm-hmm. unless I've hit it like. Uh, you know, I'd have to hit it quite a few times, and I'd have to like 
evaluate her like how she's gonna act in public mm. how does she represent me people know me mm. i go into banks i go into restaurants i go into social environments people call me by first name mm. hey what's happening man hey welcome back good to see you I haven't seen you in a long time she's representing me mm. Just like you said. so if i'm gonna be with this chick out in public she's got to represent me extremely well mm. you know like she gotta be good to the waiter she gotta talk nice she got and, and she gotta even pay for me sometimes i don't mm. go out with chicks that don't come out of their purses man mm. and it's not that i need the money if you don't invest in me facts. then you don't value me facts you gotta invest in me it's not even about me needing her to pay mm. she she has to invest in me mm. and not to put her you know down there with everything her time mm. her emotions mm. you know like i mean like she's got to give me everything otherwise i'm not you know and i, and I don't mean like she's got to call me and shit like mm. she don't have to be my woman but she's got to invest in me. And I think that's another thing, guys, that they think they have to put so much into it to get what they want. If you just keep up on your haircuts, mm. get in your best shape you mm. could possibly get into. I'm not saying you got to be Muscle Fitness Magazine. Just get into decent shape. Watch what you put in your body. Take care of your skin, your breath. Put on fragrance, a nice watch. Take care of your fingernails. Women, look at that. And if you just walk up with confidence and you don't have fear of getting her or losing her, it, to you, you just saw someone you like, you may be approached, mm. she's either feeling it or she's not. At that point, you present, hey, listen, I'm going to be out and about a little bit tonight. Why don't we meet for a drink and then take it back to my place for a nightcap? Mm. She'll say it like that, and if she's feeling you, she'll say, boom, take my number. Or, mm. you're, yeah. Mm. If she's not, she'll say, no, thanks. Right. That's it. Move on to the next. Real talk, man. Real talk. So, listen, uh, tell again, tell everybody where they can find you, uh, how to get coaching from you, all of that, all that good stuff. Yeah, come over and subscribe to the page, man. Um, just started. I just got a website, OvertonConsultingGroup.com. You can learn more about me, my services, get an idea of what I'm all about. It's not just dating. I want guys to feel better about themselves, mm-hmm. inside and out, spiritually. You know, take better care of themselves, and uh, you know, the women will come once you're at a peaceful place. The women will come once you're at a peaceful place. I promise you, because you won't be needy. You won't. You won't be uh, operating from scarcity. You'll know what you want, and you'll go out there and get what you want because you'll say it. You'll say it without fear. That's what guys that, – that, that's the ultimate game is to go after life, you know, and be fearless about it. So you can come over, subscribe. Man, I appreciate you having me on your stand-up food, man. Thank appreciate you very much. Appreciate it, man. And, um, yeah, I'm going to leave the link to uh, EO's channel, so make sure you guys subscribe. So, yeah, man, we out of here, people. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone. Later. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is going to teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.